Hey, what's up guys? It's Toxic here. And today we're going to talk about something that's extremely interesting and this is the first time I've ever heard something like this happen and it's just really weird, okay? But um, as you can see on screen, we are currently looking at the Deadly Dark Dominus, right? Now this item is not released and the only account that has ever had the Deadly Dark Dominus other than Roblox was a test account, okay? An account called str1 underscore test. And um, something very interesting was going on with that account, okay? Now, I do want to let you guys know that I did not find any of this information by myself. I actually, I actually saw this on my Twitter feed from uh, Creekcraft. And um, Creekcraft said, the only owner of the Deadly Dark Dominus is in a free Robux game. Something weird is going on here. And as you can see, str1 underscore test is the only account that has ever had the Deadly Dark Dominus other than the Roblox account itself. And as you can see, it's clearly wearing it on the profile and you can see the account was in game. And you might be wondering what game? Free RS or free Robux. Free RS, free RS, free RS, free RS. Shutdown equals update. Kick equals get RS, but you're wait five minute. And enjoy your Robux for buy catalog. Beautiful description. Uh, servers my friends are in. Five of five players max. Friends in this server. STR1 underscore test. Uh, and then he goes on to say, he also friended me. Something fishy is happening here. Roblox test accounts don't normally go into games. And as you can see in the screenshot, he's actually friends with str1 underscore test. And if we go to his Roblox account, you know, Real Creek, uh, you could see str1 test is still on his friends list right here. And uh, if you go, uh, if you just right click on it and you go to copy image address, in case you don't believe that he owns the item you just copy the image address put in your little taskbar on the top and you're gonna come up with this very tiny image in the center but if you press Control and plus and you just spam that you're gonna be uh, going into the maximum amount of times you could zoom in which is 500 percent on Google Chrome and um, as you can see here even though it's very pixely and blurry you can easily make out that this is the deadly dark dominus as you can see here so it's basically proven at this point that this account owns the Deadly Dark Dominus and um, if we go and just normally click on the account you could see it's terminated which is very very interesting you know why would Roblox terminate one of their test accounts you know with the Deadly Dark Dominus on it you know it's kind of weird right but um anyway moving on to the last tweet that Creek put out about this don't join str1 test all the games he's going into will grab your IP. He was hacked by a YouTuber. I'd suggest just blocking him until Roblox gets the account back. Now, this tweet had a lot of skepticism with it about the IP grabbing part. And to a degree, I'm also very skeptical about that. I don't know if that account was able to steal IPs or not. I don't understand, like, you know, whether or not there is another vulnerability like that on the Roblox platform right now. I, I don't want to talk about it because I don't know. So I'm just going to say it's possible, but I I'm very skeptical about that as well. But um, anyway, the very interesting part of this whole thing is that the account was compromised by a YouTuber. I'm assuming it's an exploiting YouTuber. That would make the most sense as to why they're trying to scam people who join it or something. Um, but it, it's very interesting how Roblox decides to just straight up terminate the account. Like if you search up str1 underscore test, you're not going to find them. You're actually going to find people who already made accounts, you know, trying to get attention off of the fact that it got banned and they're the only results. Let's just refresh. Yep. There's another one. str1 tests. Like every time I refresh this page, there's always at least one more new one. But, um, as you can see, str1 test banned, str1 tests. Uh, str1 test one so it, it's a very interesting scenario here and honestly don't go around compromising accounts that's just not cool and it's very interesting because the only account that owns the deadly dark dominus is terminated so i i don't know that that's just honestly kind of weird but uh yeah as you can see like he he's just deleted if you if you go to the account it's just gone but uh, I, I do want to hear what you guys think about this down in the comments because 
I, I don't know. This is just one of these really weird situations where, like, it doesn't make sense for someone to compromise the only account with the Deadly Dark Dominus just to get it deleted. I, I don't understand what the whole purpose of compromising that account to try to scam people is. I guess, you know, you have the Deadly Dark Dominus, which is an item that nobody owns. So I guess it's like you're kind of getting, you know, since people are attracted to that hat, they're going to join you and they're going to trust you or whatever. I, I guess that's a logical reason as to why this person did it to the only Deadly Dark Dominus owner, but I, I don't know. This is just a really weird situation, and I, I really want to know more about this. Also, I kind of just realized, like, right now that Deadly Dark Dominus, it doesn't have a Latin name. I, I don't know why it took me so long not to realize this, but it doesn't. But, uh, that's kind of irrelevant. But I do want to hear what you guys think about this down in the comments. Do you guys think that, uh... Do you guys think that account's coming back? str1 underscore test? Because I don't think Roblox is going to bring that account back. And I think it's just going to sit there with the Deadly Dark Dominus gone forever. But uh, I do want to hear what you guys think about this down in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. And goodbye.